Well, as requested, I'm going to do a quick go through of my vinyl re my vinyl record collection now. Now, most of these records were belong to my parents. They've moved on to CDs now, and I'm I still prefer vinyl, which is a bit weird because you'd think the older generation would be into the vinyl and the younger generation would be into the CDs. But um, well, I just prefer vinyl to CDs. And anyway, let's um, let's go through the records right now. Firstly, there's a lot of um, you know, 60s compilation albums, We've got all time hits from the 60s. Barry Manilow, because remember a lot of these records, I told you a lot of these records were mum's records, so you know, she has ones like that. Chart Blasters 81, a lot of good early 80s music on there. The Platinum album, that's mum's favourite album, so I have to take special care with that. That's more, you know, early 80s music. A lot of good music. Swinging 60s, another 60s compilation album. Quite partial to 60s music. Tom Jones, which I'm not all that partial to. Now, love. Some of it's kind of, you know, like hippie songs, some of it isn't. Elton John loves songs. There's only about a couple of songs on there which I like. Classical music, which I don't like a bit. More classical music there, The Planets. I think that's quite a famous um, album, but I'm not sure. Um, Jake's Progress, that's a bit weird, but quite funny. Ooh, pardon me. Should have drank that Pepsi before I uh, made a recording. Silla Black, I like a couple of songs there. This one is Alice Cooper, um, Billion Dollar Babies. Let me just get the record out to show you something here. Warner Brothers Records. So I cannot show this on YouTube. Well, I cannot play this on YouTube. I'll probably even be nabbed for showing the little logo there. Continuing on. Um, got Michael Jackson Bad. Dire Straits. I don't know what which album this is. Um, doesn't say. It's got the pictures of them there. We were alone Carpenters. Billy Idol. Looks a bit gay. Stone the Crows. I've forgotten what kind of music's on there. You'd think by, from the artwork it'd be some kind of psychedelic rock, but it's actually. I think it was a bit milder than that. Um, pretty good artwork though. Moody Blues, that's pretty good. Queen the Works with the gears and stuff on the back. There's the Who Sell Out. Someone with a great big. Uh, one of them with a great big um, deodorant thing. One of them's in baked beans. The searchers. I'm trying to get this camera back as far as it will. As far as I can get it. The focus is out. Um, the zoom is out as far as it will go, and it's just not, um, can't seem to get it back as far enough. Michael Jackson Thriller, now I'm sure some of you may have worn that album cover on your head a couple of times. I'm sure I heard some people do that sometimes. It's Pentangle, Cruel Sister, I've forgotten what that one is. Opera, I hate opera. Fifth Richard Love Songs. Double Dutch, I've completely forgotten what that one is, don't think I've played that one. It's Gilbert and Sullivan again. Chad Plegged Blotsky, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's a ballet record. Don't like ballet, it's too much like classical music. The only thing I like about ballet is the girls. The Guitar Factory one there. Just sort of like songs played on the guitar. Nothing original. Del Shannon, never heard of him. Lionel Richie. Can't slow down. Looks a bit like a damn musician, actually. No offence. Um, Roy Orbison Ballads. Not, in, not really into ballads. Okay, um, Gilbert and Sullivan, Volume 2. Now this is a weird one. Memories of Steam. This is one of Dad's old records. Actual steam, loco um, steam train or steam locomotive recordings. On vinyl. Yep. Brought sounds of his best of his favourite trains back with him. Best of Irish show bands. 
just sort of mainly 60s music by, you know, the Irish bands. Pavarotti, opera again. Rocky Horror Picture Show, that's uh, quite gay, but some good songs there. South Pacific, that's from the film. See, he says South Pacific soundtrack. Easy Rider, that was another one of Dad's. Pretty sure you'd um, be able to know what kind of songs is on there. Ah, Beatles Abbey Road. I'm sure some of you recognise this picture. Probably one of their most more famous ones. Deep Purple in Rock. It's like Mount Rushmore, but with them carved into it. Ian Dury and the Blockheads, that's quite funny. Um, it's got some, some of the um, songs on there have got a bit of bad language on them too. Not too bad, but um, songs are pretty good on it. Northern Beat, that's another 60s compilation album from the Northern Bands. It's another Ian Dury album. There's another 60s compilation, got a lot of those. The Beatles, quite a big fan of the Beatles. The Graduate, which is Simon Garfunkel and um, David Grusin. Now I've got some records in some loose sleeves here. Small Town Boy, one of Mum's favourite records. Can't find a sleeve for it, so I just had to put it in a temporary one for now. Here, yeah, Steel Eye Span, it's sort of like folk music, but it's pretty good to listen to though. And uh, so this one, Biggest Hits Johnny Cash, pretty good. I've got some loose records here, I'm not, there's not enough time to go through them because I am coming up to a running out of time here. Got some loose sleeves here. Haven't found the records for these. I know we've got them somewhere, but they seem to have um, vanished. Anyway, I um, think I'll have to go now because there seems to be some kind of... When I do my videos and they they come out a bit longer than I want them to, but anyway, that's about it. So see you next time. Until next time, goodbye.